The Minecraft Java Edition RTX videos are fake. Following the release of Minecraft RTX in the Windows 10 edition of the game, many YouTubers have gravitated towards making videos on using Minecraft shaders. This video, I will explain the difference between traditional Minecraft shaders and Minecraft RTX. And because of these massive differences, the YouTubers have managed to clickbait millions of viewers worldwide. Also, please do not send any hate or mean comments to any of the YouTubers that have done this, as they try their hardest to make good content for you all and it's very discouraging when you have worked really hard and people just throw hate around for almost no reason. Also, this video was made just to clear up the difference between Minecraft RTX and shaders. First of all, what's the huge deal? What's the difference between Minecraft RTX and shaders? Minecraft RTX looks at how and where the light would bounce. This includes colored lighting something that had never been seen before this, but it's still a heavily requested feature. Shaders instead do not calculate the light bounces off blocks, making the lighting look not very realistic. This means that the shaders do not have the full RTX effect. As of writing this video, there are some shader packs like Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, PTGI, and a couple of others that support ray tracing with the light bounces, but they still do not support colored lighting through things like glass. The reason that I'm bringing up the colored lighting so much is because it is one of the main features that have been left out of ray tracing shader packs that currently exist. That impacts the visuals greatly as it changes the coloring of items, entities, and blocks around that makes them look much more realistic. Also, when using ray tracing, the shader packs make use of ray tracing cores inside newer graphics cards using faster and more efficient rendering techniques. Otherwise, if using the traditional computing method, you'd get next to unplayable playable gameplay. Inside many of the YouTubers' descriptions, they talk about what kind of shaders that they use because they're not actually using ray tracing shaders. A lot of them use things like Continuum, Choptic, and Silders, vibrant shaders, which do not currently support ray tracing. So what does this mean for you as a viewer? These videos are minor differences and will not make a major impact on the videos. Shaders are starting to integrate more features like ray tracing to make them look more realistic. The longer you wait, the less this will matter. So sit back and relax because this video is just to clear up the major difference between shaders and ray tracing. If you did enjoy, then please do subscribe and drop a like for the algorithm. If you have any further questions, then just drop them down in the comment section down below. Anyway, have a great day.